Welcome back to the number one TV program in the world, everybody. This is Brian Lee Durfee. I am the author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Peter Straub's Mystery. This is book number two in his Blue Rose Trilogy. It came out in 19... 90. Now let's review the covers because, you know, we always re review the covers first because I love graphic design and um, cover illustration. This has got a good one. I love the uh, way that's written. I love this font. I love the image. It wraps around nicely. Uh, you know, we got the rose for the Blue Rose Trilogy. And even more cool is when you put all the books in the Blue Rose Trilogy together, which we've got Coco, Mystery, and The Throat, you'll notice... That when all the covers are together, we've got the blue rose. Stem, stem, rose. It all works out. You see? You wouldn't notice that if you just had them all separate. Well, you might. Anyway. I thought that was cool. So let's give a round of applause to the uh, publisher for uh, putting together a nice package trilogy. Stope came out in 1990. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. If I did, we're mentioning it again. Main character, Tom Passmore. He's 10 years old. He's a kid. Right from the beginning, he gets hit by a car. The accident is written in bloody, gory detail, and the dude is dead. The little kid is dead. Oh, my God. What do we do? Well, he comes back to life. Um, and... Not only does he come back to life, but now he's got sort of these odd Jedi-like mind trick powers that he can sort of use. And then, and then he um, comes across this um, old guy named Von Heilitz, an old man who, who solves mysteries, like old mysteries, like l mysteries of the living, mysteries of old dead people, things like that. Um, and, uh, oh, oh, one of the things that I was like, okay, so these books are all... These are all standalone novels. I mean, says the Blue Rose trilogy, but they're all standalone stories with all separate characters. There's just kind of a theme, life and death theme running through the whole thing. Like a, and uh, another thing is, is there's a song, the Blue Rose. It's kind of a recorded musical song that's kind of in. So that's kind of where, I mean, they're loosely tied together. I don't think you need to read all three of them in order. You can read... Um, you know, because they're just, it's, they're all standalone books. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So uh, uh, the better um, explanation of this book is um, a young boy passes beyond the pale of death and returns with no answers. Eh, you know, because, you know, everybody, hey, if somebody dies and they come back to life, like Jon Snow in Game of Thrones. Tyrion even asked him, hey, what's it like after death? And I might have been teary, and I can't remember. One of the characters asked him, what's it like? You've been dead. What's it like when you're dead? And he's like, I didn't see any. It was like, before I was born, I didn't know nothing. I just, you know, it's, it's just a void of oblivion. Okay. A young boy passes beyond the pale of death and returns with no answers, except chilling clues to the ultimate mystery. An old man spends his life solving mysteries until he wants to know anything more of the terror of the living and the horror of death. A beautiful girl, her fate a question mark, is caught in a whirlpool of forces beyond her control. In this chilling novel, in Peter Straub's Blue Rose trilogy, characters fall prey to the intrigue that shadows them and all others in the world of wealth, power, and pleasure, and to an evil that reaches out from the abyss of the past to haunt the present and claim the living. And that's kind of the theme that was going on through Coco, was uh, horrors of the past come to the present. How do people deal with it now? And the interactions... Be done. Now, let's get... Peter Straub, um, you know, he wrote the uh, he, the Talisman and the Black, he, the Black House with Stephen King. A lot of you are just probably familiar with him in there. But he's written a lot of horror novels. I mean, I've got... Step out of camera for a minute and count the amount of horror novels I've got of his. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I've got eight. Not that many. Well, he didn't write that many. And I'll, I don't know if he's necessarily considered horror. 
So far, after reading rereading Coco and rereading Mystery, these are more of like slow burn. I mean, Straub is an acquired taste. They're more of like slow burn um, psychological thrillers. There's no real ghosts and goblins and ghouls or monsters. There's no Cujo or Jaws that just jumps out and rips the shit out of people. There's none of that stuff. There's no like uh, haunted houses or vampires or werewolves or um, zombies. It's not like that. It's more of just uh, like Stephen King's Bag of Bones or... Um, they kind of remind me a lot of Apt Pupil just without the... Uh, this one reminds me a lot of Apt Pupil and Stephen King's newest one, come to think of it, which was the uh, fairy tale. Remind, reminded me a lot of the fairy tale in that the young boy and an old man have a lot of conversations together, which is the same as Apt Pupil and fairy tale. And this. Um, so the dynamic between that and then, um, you know, there's less, like I said, less of the horror elements, less action. It's more of a psychological plot, more of a character-driven novel as are all of, as well as Coco was, this one was. And we'll see how the throat goes. I mean, I read these so long ago, I don't remember much about them at all. Um, very Stephen King-esque, in that they're very wordy, they're very garrulous with the words. I don't want to say too much more about this novel or its plot, other than the vague generalities that I gave you. And um, I think, overall... I enjoyed Coco a little bit more. I'm going to give Mystery, book number two in the Blue Rose trilogy, about a 7.5 out of 10. So um, we will be reviewing book number three, The Throat, soon, because I'll probably be reading this in the next couple of weeks. See how that one turns out. But anyway, that is um, that.